What's up, baseball fans? Welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to go over my predictions for the MLB Dream Bracket Semifinals. All right, so overall, not too bad. I got the Yankees correct. I got the Red Sox correct. I got the Dodgers correct. Thank God they beat that Brewers team. That Brewers team has been a thorn in my side this entire bracket. But I got the Cardinals wrong. The Cardinals were so close to beating the Reds. It went seven games. It went to, I think, like 12 innings, and the Reds pulled it out. So instead of the Cardinals, it is the Reds. But even without the Cardinals, still a great Final Four. Yankees versus Red Sox, like everyone thought it would be. And Reds, Dodgers. You got that classic big red machine, the team that dominated in the 70s against a pitching rich Dodgers team. The Reds full of offense, the Dodgers full of pitching. It's going to be really fun to see how that plays out. So let's look at the Dodgers right there at the top of the rotation. Sandy Koufax, Clayton Kershaw, Don Drysdale, Don Sutton. You got Oral Hershiser and Fernando Valenzuela there as well. There's Kenley Jansen and Eric Gagne in the bullpen. Just incredible pitching with the Dodgers. And the lineup, it's not the best lineup in this whole tournament, but it's still pretty solid. You got Roy Campanella, Jackie Robinson's in there, younger Gary Sheffield, Pee Wee Reese, you got Duke Snyder, Cody Bellinger's on the rise. It's a really good Dodgers team overall. If if I were to pick one area, obviously it's going to be the pitching that is their strength. And looking at the Reds, now the Reds, their strength, like I've said, is their offense. Look at the lineup. Johnny Bench, Joey Votto, Joe Morgan, Pete Rose, Barry Larkin, Frank Robinson right there in right field, Ted, uh, Ted Klazuski at DH, George Foster. It just goes on and on. This, There's no wonder why this team dominated so much in the 70s. Can you imagine if they had Joey Votto back then too? Crazy. But so it's a really good offense versus a really good pitching staff. So taking a look at this, what I did here is I took the players on each roster and I took their wins above replacements for while they were on that team, either the Reds or the Dodgers, and I just added them all up. So if you take a look at the Reds offense, their combined wins above replacement was 509.1, while the Dodgers were only 399.6. That is a pretty big gap right there. That's more than 100 wins. And then, But when you look at the pitching, the Reds are 202.2, while the Dodgers had 360.5. That's more than a 150-win difference. So if you take a look at the overall combined wars of the whole roster, the Reds, 711.3, and the Dodgers, 760.1. So... That pitching really is that much of a difference for the Dodgers. So in the end, I think in a seven-game series, while the Reds do have a really good lineup, I don't know if they're going to have enough pitching. That Dodgers pitching staff is incredible. I mean, Sandy Koufax and Kershaw at the top, Drysdale and Don Sutton as a 3-4. What? Oral Hershiser, Fernando Valenzuela, either starting a game or coming out of the bullpen. Incredible. Eric Gagne in his prime. Incredible, absolutely incredible. The Dodgers are going to move on to the finals. Now, let's move on to the matchup that everyone is waiting to see. Red Sox, Yankees. So, this is just as exciting as it gets in this whole tournament. In my opinion, this is the championship. No disrespect to either the Reds or the Dodgers. But, I mean, come on. Look at these teams. So, with the offense, you already know this Yankees offense. Babe Ruth, DiMaggio, Mano, Rodriguez, Jeter, Garrick, Barrett. Like, come on. Like, this is just unfair. And their pitching staff is very solid. Whitey Ford, Andy Pettit right there, Ron Guidry, Red Ruffing, Mariano Rivera, the best closer of all time. You got Goose Gossage in there. Incredible Yankee pitching staff. And then you look at the Red Sox. Also an incredible team. Look at the offense. Carlton Fisk, Jimmy Fox, Pedroia, Boggs, Garcia Parra, Ted Williams, Mookie Betts, Dwight Evans, who you can make an argument. Maybe you could stick Manny out in right field. Not his normal position, but, but you have Manny's bat on the bench. David Ortiz at DH. Look at the pitching. This is where I do think the Red Sox have an edge. Well, the Yankees, even though the, those offenses are both stacked, the Yankees, I do think, have an edge. Looking at the pitching, though, I think the Red Sox have an edge. Pedro Clemens, Cy Young at the top. 
Luis Tion, John Lester, a young Babe Ruth. How funny is that that Babe Ruth is going to be on both of these teams? Could you imagine Babe Ruth against Babe Ruth to decide like a, like a seven-game series? Like, are you kidding me? Like, incredible. But the Red Sox, they have a good bullpen of their own. Papelbon, Koji, Craig Kimbrell. Nuts. So I had to also dig into the wins above replacements for each player. Like I know wins above replacement isn't the end all be all, but it's just a good reference point. And it definitely helped me in deciding who I think is going to move on. So taking a look, we just looked at the Reds and the Dodgers numbers. Look at these numbers. Like, are you kidding me? Starting with the offense, the Yankees have the edge 936.2 to 794.1. The Yankees have a clear edge there. Looking at the Red Sox, the Red Sox have the edge here. Yankees with 336.7 and the Red Sox with 362.8. So the Red Sox have the pitching. So if you, But if you go to the overall, the Yankees overall have an edge. So you're probably thinking, oh wow, the Yankees have more than 100 wins on the Red Sox. Hear me out here. The Red Sox... I think, even though the Yankees have incredible numbers right here, I think the Red Sox are going to be able to match up with this Yankees team. What I think this is going to come down to is the starting pitching. Whitey Ford, Andy Pettit, Ron Guidry, Red Ruffing. I think, while the Yankees do have some decent starting pitching, the Red Sox starting pitching is just overall clearly better here. Pedro, Clemens, Cy Young, Luis Tiant. I mean, come on. Look at the bullpen. Papelbon, Uihara, Kimber. While the Yankees do have Rivera, they have Gossage out there. I think the Red Sox have a bullpen that can compete with the Yankees. I think the Red Sox have a lineup that can absolutely compete with that Yankees lineup. Sure, that Yankees lineup, they're going to drive in some runs. But the Red Sox can drive in some runs too. And you know what? While this may be a little bit of bias on my end, I think the Red Sox can match up with that Yankees pitching. And I think in the end, the Red Sox will find a way to make it to the finals. And in the end, we will have a Red Sox Dodgers MLB Dream Bracket Final. It will be a rematch of the 2018 World Series. It's going to be amazing. Those are my picks for the finals. I'm not going to be surprised if the Yankees win it. I'm not going to be surprised if the Reds somehow make it. These were very hard for me to pick. And sure, there could be a little bit of bias on my end. But I just think in the end, the Red Sox have a little bit more starting pitching. And I think the Dodgers are just going to... They're going to be able to handle that Reds offense with all of their starting pitching. To me, in the playoffs, starting pitching is what matters. And I think the Red Sox and Dodgers on their ends just have a little bit more than what the Yankees and the Reds have. So those are my picks. Who are your picks to make it to the final? Tell me down below in the comments. Let me know. Tell me if you think I'm just a biased Red Sox fan and I don't know anything. Tell me down below in the comments. Tell me exactly what you think. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time. We'll see what happens in the finals. And I will make my predictions for the finals as well. Thanks for joining today. I'll talk to you next time.